Hello everyone, it's Meg. Welcome back to a new vlog. Wow, look at me filming a vlog like a month after filming my first vlog. Hopefully you guys will have seen my vlog that I posted in February, um, which I filmed back in January for Laura Wood's up and coming uh, adult release. That was fun. I've spilt tea, oh for God's sake, I spilt tea all over myself. Of course I did. And I've just been editing that video. I just need to go back and finish uh, a few final touches but whilst I was doing it I was like I just really am in the mood to film another vlog especially because my health anxiety has been through the roof at the moment um so I feel like I need a little distraction so I just want to do like a fun chill kind of reading vlog with lifestyle, I don't know, it's just a vlog, all right? Just a vlog of whatever I want it to be. Obviously there'll be reading in it. So that is the plan. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this vlog for, for however I want. So I might as well show you guys kind of the books that I'm reading at the moment. So I actually have um, quite a few books that I need to finish. I don't think I'm actually going to like read any of them in this vlog, but we shall see. So the book that I'm technically reading at the moment is Friendaholic by Elizabeth Day and I have really nearly finished this. I have less than 100 pages left. I'm on page 120, uh, 324. Um, so yeah, I really do not have a lot left of this and I have really been enjoying it. However, I'm just not in the mood for this book right now which is annoying because I have three other books um, that I have also not finished in the past couple of months so I think this is the like the longest that I've gone like with starting books and not finishing them like I tend to finish them and like I said I want to finish this book but I'm really not in the mood for like a non-fiction right now I want something that's comforting and gonna whisk me away especially with kind of how I've been feeling recently so these are the other books that I am currently reading and haven't finished uh, Sirens and Muses by Antonia Angrus I started reading this back in September when I went to Bath I was really enjoying it but I think I kind of burnt myself out a little bit whilst I was reading it I um, fully intend to finish it. Have you seen that cover? It's stunning and I've also been annotating it quite a lot so I'm halfway through this and then I started reading The Fair Botanist by Sarah Sheridan just before New Year and I wanted to read it because I was going to New Year for Edinburgh and this is set in Edinburgh. Again I wasn't in the mood and also I had that arc of Under Your Spell came so I dropped this and did it to pick it up but obviously didn't do that. And then I have Crumbs by Danny Sterling and I started this again before during Christmas actually I started it on like Christmas day or something like that and I have read most of it however I got a bit bored I think this this is like a magical graphic novel um, and it's about these two people there's a witch and I don't know what he does I don't know if he has any magical powers actually I think he just wants to you know play music and stuff like that and it is very cute and I like the art style, however I think this would have been a lot better if it was released in smaller volumes instead of one big volume because I'm getting a little bit bored, which is why I haven't finished it because it would honestly take me, I don't know, not very long to finish this, a day if I wanted. So yeah, I've, I have do intend to finish it when I don't know, but I will at some point. So yeah, I've got like four books. That I have started and not finished and I intend to finish all of them at some point I think but I don't think this vlog is going to be the day unless if I feel like it who knows I just feel a bit uninspired with reading at the moment like I read a fantastic book like I've been reading good books I just feel a little uninspired you know and I feel like I definitely need some like comfort kind of reads at the moment um, especially since I've only read like two books this, not even, I haven't even read two books, I finished one book this year. Just the one, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, I would have at least finished, like, I don't know, two books by now from when I'm filming this, which is like end of February. So, I don't know, we shall see. But the book I think I am going to pick up because I feel like I need this, like, escapism right now is uh, A Season for Scandal by Laura Wood. I have had this on my bookshelf for a couple of weeks now because I was meaning to finish Friendaholic and it's taken me a bit longer to finish this than I expected. 
So I think I'm going to put Friendaholic down for the moment and concentrate on reading this because I need the escapism and I know Laura's writing and storytelling is going to do that for me. So I think that's the plan. This is a I don't know if it's exactly a sequel or a companion novel um, to Agency for Scandal, um, which I read last year. I did a vlog. I will link it down below if you want to go and watch it. Um, but yeah, this is historical fiction, YA, uh, always a good time about some a female detective agency who right wrongs against women. Um, and what's not to love about that, you know? And I know that there is the language of flowers in this and there is... A trip to Paris sounds very fun so I think this is what I need I need to you know go to Paris and learn about the language of flowers and fight evil men that sounds like a plan to me so yeah we'll see how we go I might pick up some of those other books maybe try and finish that graphic novel but we'll see I, I kind of doubt it but you know we'll see all the same so those are my reading plans for this vlog we will see how it turns out I think I will do this vlog until I finish this book just because I want to record my thoughts on it um, and it'll be super fun see where else this vlog takes us and I think now I'm going to go and do some painting and also finish the vlog that I am currently um, working finishing up so I can post it and get it sorted, which will be fun. So I've been painting on and off for year, quite a few years now, since like maybe beginning of COVID. And I got into making bookmarks beginning of this year. I don't know why bookmarks specifically. I just find painting like a very relaxing thing, a very mindful thing, um, especially when I'm not in the best mental health state. So I got some bookmarks and I thought I would show them to you guys. These are just like random ones that I make to make just with acrylics. I have done watercolour ones in the past. Some of them are um, laminated. I need, still need to laminate some of them, but yeah. So I've done lots of flowers has been the theme uh, for some reason, but this one's my favourite, I think. I like this one and I like this one as well. Um, and I've also done like an odd one out like some stars, which is cute. So I think I'm going to do some of these because one of my colleagues has asked if um, she could, I can do a commission for her to make a bookmark for her mum for Mother's Day, so I'm going to go and do that, I think. So she wants one like this, but with different colour flowers. So I think I'm going to do that and then maybe do some other bits and pieces. Um, we'll see, maybe do some other paintings in my sketchbook. So welcome to this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get cosy, get yourself a hot drink. If you have not already, or some water, make sure you stay hydrated, look after yourself. And uh, without further ado, let's go and do some editing. have a rare chance to actually vlog before work like who is she where did she get that time from so it's friday now and i have not done as much reading or as much vlogging as i was hoping to my sister has been home uh, for the past couple of days from london so i've just been chilling with her and me and my mum and my sister have been re-watching anna green gables the one with megan follows in it that was filmed in the 80s and I love that series so much. I actually did rewatch it kind of either end of January or beginning of February, but um, yeah, but they were watching it again, so I watched it with them. And it is 
such like a comfort and a joyous thing to watch and the more I watch it and every time I watch it I realise more things about it and it made me realise that Anne of Green Gables or at least that adaption, I know that the books will do this as well but it is such a beautiful representation of like platonic love, like friendship, found family, all that sort of thing. Um, obviously there's romance in it but it really does have like the beautifulness of friendship and platonic love and all that sort of thing like I said. So, so stunning and Anne is such an inspiration. Like she's an absolute queen. I love her. So definitely need a little bit more of like being like Anne in my life. I think she's ace. We love her. We stan. So I did start reading A Season for Scandal by Laura Wood and I'm not very far in. Like I said, because my sister's been home, I've just kind of been chilling with her a bit more. Um, so I've not done as much. I'm on chapter four, which is page 40 and I I'm loving this so far. I'm definitely hooked. I have quite a few tabs um, so far. I don't know how well you can see, but this is stunning. So this book basically is about our main character, Marigold Bloom, and her family own a flower shop. And Marigold is one of the main people who runs it, who thinks of ways to make money. So she's quite like, you know, independent and like business minded in that sort of aspect. And the first chapter is when her fiance breaks the engagement off with her. And that leads her in a little bit of trouble with like financially. Um, so because obviously, you know, being married is meant to, is a bit of a business deal back in those days. So it leaves her in a little bit of trouble. So I'm interested to see where this is going to go. I kind of know where it's going to go um, because obviously the Avery is involved. So I'm sure she will discover them at some point. But really loving this. And I was doing my tabs because I'm trying to maybe customise my tabs a bit more. I usually, you know, have the same thing for each book. And I've been writing it quite a lot in this as well. Um, so I've got what on that I have. So these are my tabs that I've got so far. So I've got love, general, then I've got character traits, and this one I've decided men being disgusting because Marigold's ex fiance is disgusting, and so is his father. That is all I'm going to say. And then I have sad and shocking. And I do have um, another one, and I think I could do flower meanings because obviously Marigold works at a flower shop, and there is the language of I know the language of flowers is used in here, so I have tabbed a few already. So if it keeps, you know, I keep seeing more languages of flowers, then I would definitely use that as like a language of flowers tab, which is really cool. So I am really loving this. Hopefully, I will get to read more tonight and over the weekend because um, my sister goes home today so I'm gonna hopefully get some more reading in but very much enjoying it and also Marigold seems like a great character, loads of personality um, there is also plus size rep in here which is amazing, love to see it and, as, and also somebody who's plus size who's very confident and feeling at home in their body which I absolutely love to see so loving this and like I said, hopefully we'll get a bit more reading done over the weekend. I start a work a little bit later, which is why I actually get to vlog to you. And I did my hair real cute, you probably can't see it. But it's all wavy and I've just been trying to do my hair different recently because putting it in a ponytail every day, like having to have it back is a bit boring. So time to change it up a bit. So I best go and, you know, have my breakfast and get ready to start the day. I'm baking today, which will be super, super fun. So I will hopefully talk to you guys when I have done some more reading and maybe at some point over the weekend.
now Sunday and as you will have seen I went out for a little bit. Hopefully you can see myself me through this massive hat. I absolutely adore this hat and I have not worn it enough this winter because I got myself a new coat which is quite extravagant so it's you know it's one or the other and I have been favouring my coat recently so I have been wearing this hat and I absolutely adore it. So I had to go out and get a few bits. I needed to get some more like uh, shampoo and conditioner. I got some stuff because I'm going to make lasagna for tea tonight. A new recipe that I haven't tried before. I went and got myself some bubble tea because I haven't had some in a little bit. I got the raspberry with passion fruit uh, bubbles if anybody is wondering. And I did go into the bookshop because I really wanted to get my hands on the new editions of Alice Oseman's books and I'm not really one for buying multiple copies of books unless if they're special editions or maybe they're a book that I absolutely adore however I do really like the covers that they have redone and they came out recently maybe the week that I'm filming this I think they came out uh, so I got two of them they I also wanted Radio Silence uh, but unfortunately they didn't have that so these are the books that I got. So I got the new cover for Solitaire, which I think is actually my favourite out of all of them. Uh, I'm not girly but really, but I do love this. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then I also got the Loveless one, which is probably one of my least favourites out of the ones that I got. I do really like it still. I love the colours. Um, but yeah, so I don't want to collect all of the books in these editions. I literally just wanted these two. I want Radio Silence and I also want to get This Winter. I think that comes out later this year, maybe kind of in the autumn time, which I guess is understandable since it's a Christmas book. So yeah, I am very happy to have these. Don't really know where they're going to go on my shelf because the shelf that I would genuinely put these on is full. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I will have to figure out some space and these also have some bonus content as well which is great I think there's some sort of like I'm not sure what's in solitaire but I know in this one there's a little short story about Pip and Rooney and um, so that should be super fun so that was my little outing and I have managed to read a bit more of A Season for Scandal I read a bit more last night and um, this morning so I'm on page 88 which is chapter 9 and I am honestly loving this book so much I feel like, from what I can remember at any rate, I have gotten into this book a lot quicker than the first book in the series, which just, you know, sometimes that just happens, that's just the way everything rolls. But I'm at the point now where our main character Marigold has discovered the Avery, which obviously is the secret society that rights uh, the wrongs and blackmails men and puts them in their rightful place, basically. I can't remember whether I said this in my last clip, but I really love... Uh, I, th I don't know if it's Mary or Mari. I'm guessing it's Mary because she's called Marigold. Um, but I really like Mary as a character. She's such a confident character. She's very like forward-thinking. She's a woman ahead of her time, basically, in more ways than one. So I'm absolutely adoring this. I have been annotating it quite a lot. Still doing lots of annotations in it as well, which is super fun. So. I definitely want to try and make some time to read this today and tomorrow because obviously today's my day off and so is tomorrow. So yeah, that's my little update and my little check-in. I do want to really knuckle down and read because it's now March and I have only read one book this year and I did have a look at my Goodreads and I had read like six books by this time last year and there is nothing wrong with reading only one book. I would just like to say that. There is nothing wrong with me only reading one book. I think I've just been trying, struggling to stick to a book that I really enjoy and I really am engaged in. So I think I'm going to go and drink my bubble tea now and unpack everything that I got for making tea tonight and then hopefully I can chill and finish my Studio Ghibli marathon that I've been doing for over a year now where I'm trying to watch every single Studio Ghibli film. I think there's only two that I haven't watched. Uh, one I'm really not interested in watching and the other one I isn't on Netflix but I've watched basically all of them so I've got one more to watch and I will do my best to try and watch it tonight. Hopefully. We shall see. I've been saying my, that to myself for weeks now to be honest but you know hopefully tonight I will actually watch it. 
I swear to god it must be actually illegal for how tired I am feeling right now. You know, just a girl, you know, two double shifts into her weekend. Still got one more day to go, and then I've got a day off, so we're we're hanging in there. So I've just got back from work, it's like 10 to 10, and I've just had a shower. I'm gonna do my skincare, I've also talked to you guys about my book because I feel like I've not done that yet, and that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a nice chill time. So I think I've made a reasonable amount of progress since I last updated you, I think it was, I don't even know when, quite a while ago. So I have made lots and lots of progress. I am on page 357. So I'm over halfway through, absolutely loving this book. I am having such a fun time and I just fall in love with these characters just even more, you know? I fall in love with them and they're great. You can tell how descriptive I am for the fact of how tired I am. But the mystery aspect, because obviously there is a mystery, because obviously the Avery like solve all those sorts of things uh, is fun. Uh, it's not like the forefront of the novel but it is really intriguing and I remember from when Laura did the last book in this series. Um, I am somebody who's generally very good at guessing the you know the outcome of the crime like solving it but I didn't do it with the last one and I don't think I'm going to do it with this one I'm genuinely so intrigued um so that's great and the romance is like to bloom between uh Mary and Oliver which I guess isn't kind of non-spoilery really because we obviously know that um something's going to happen between them because Oliver is the love interest um and it's just interesting seeing that because obviously he is the grumpiest of grumpy people. Like I have never known anybody to be like just like that before. So that's quite interesting. So yes, and they are in Yorkshire, which is where Oliver lives. Um, and it's just such a good time, honestly such a good time. It's really interesting to know more about Oliver as well because he was in um, he was in the last book um, of the series so it's interesting to get to know more about him and also seeing Mary kind of grow and be a part of this new job. Oh my god I feel like my words are going. And I was thinking about this um, over this morning or yesterday, I was thinking about what the main plot of the book is and I think for me, for all of Laura's books like this, it's basically about her characters trying to find their own way in the world. Obviously she writes feminist um, fiction, specifically historical fiction, so it's very much, obviously there's romance and they are marketed as romance, but they are definitely about these women in these times where they obviously don't have a lot of rights and you know all they're meant to do really is you know marry off um but that isn't the case with laura's book she has women who are ambitious like mary is a like business connoisseur like she is thriving with her business and i love that for her so I think it's very much about her like loving the biz like her business and a biz but also wanting more than that and knowing that it's okay that she is allowed more than that. So yeah. So I basically I'm really enjoying it and there's also lots about the language of flowers which is something that I always love learning about when I'm doing um like reading is something that I just very much enjoy. I've read a few books with the language of flowers in before. So yeah, I'm just genuinely having such a fun time and I'm really intrigued to see where it goes next. And there is, I'm nearly on part, I think it's part four now. So I've got under 200 pages left, very much enjoying it. And you know, just intrigued to see how it goes. This has genuinely been such a comfort read for me. I've been annotating it a lot and writing in it a lot. So yeah, I've just 
genuinely been enjoying it so so much and I think it's my f I love the other book in this series but I think this book might have topped it just a little bit more you know just a little bit that is my little ramble and my little skincare moment I don't know how much of that makes sense because I am like I said I am very very tired but skincare is done and that always makes me feel like a little bit better so yeah so I will update you guys at some point soon. I think I need to end this vlog soon because your girl has probably been filming it for quite a while now. Um, but I do want to finish this book. I was going to start a new vlog and finish this, but I think I might finish this in this vlog. We will see what happens. So for now, I'm going to go and, you know, go and finish drinking my cup of tea, get to bed, do some more reading, and then hopefully I'll talk to you guys when I finish this book. We'll see. We'll see what happens. finished a season for Scandal and I am actually obsessed. It wasn't my intention to finish it last night, I wanted an early night because your girl has done a very long and tiring work week but the plot was you know thickening and we were getting close to finding out what the mystery was and I was just like you know or the conclusion to the mystery I guess you could say and I, I just, I genuinely could not put it down. So I sped red, sped red, um, you know, read quickly <laughs> through um, some of the last chapters. And I absolutely love this book, which should be no surprise really, because I have adored it from literally the first chapter. I loved it and I am very, pleased with the outcome of everything and also the mystery the mystery aspects I like I said I'm generally quite good at guessing like you know the conclusion to like a mystery or something like that however with both of these books in this series I have not known the answer um, and I think it takes some skill to do a plot where you don't know what the reader doesn't know what's going to happen but I loved it, I loved the romance, oh my god, if you love a good grumpy sunshine uh, romance moment then this is a book I definitely recommend. Oliver Lockhart is the grumpiest sod that I've ever probably read about in a book but he cares for Mary so much and he is a green light when it comes to defending her and he doesn't like other people but he likes her and I think that is adorable. And I also loved seeing Mary grow so much throughout this novel. Obviously she starts it off somebody, Simon, breaking her engagement off with her and she's in a little bit of trouble and obviously by the end nothing is perfect but she realises through the Avery that she wants more. You know she's allowed to have more than just her family's shop which she loves but obviously there are restrictions with a shop like that uh, being in the centre of London obviously a lack of space for her to like grow things and you know expand her knowledge and things that she wants to do there are limits so she realises through this book that she is allowed more both career wise and romance wise um, because she is a very practical woman and she is a businesswoman and I love that about her but it's nice to see her realise that she is allowed to grow and be have a bigger 
presence in the world and that somebody who is of a higher status is allowed to love her um, because she thinks that that is in practical terms not possible but it is and Mary deserves everything she's so wonderful and I don't know if I mentioned this before is that I love how confident Mary is in herself she is a plus size woman and she instead of like you know being about fat shaming there are some people characters in here some horrible characters who fat shame and we do not stand that we do not like that at all but I love how comfortable she feels in her body and the way she expresses herself through very colourful clothing and you know like wild hats with flowers on it. I think that is absolutely beautiful and I think she is a like a gorgeous character. I love Mary. I think she's, I love all of the heroines in Laura's books but I think she does have to be one of my favourites. I do really love her. And it was fun seeing Izzy and Max in here as well. That was super fun. There was even a mention to Izzy from A Single Thread of Moonlight because these books are all kind of set in like a couple of years apart. And it was also fun seeing Mrs Finch more in this book because obviously we see her in the first book in the series, but it was fun seeing more of her and her almost being like sort of a mother-esque figure or even like that sort of maternal-esque kind of um figure for Mary kind of during this uh, throughout the whole book from when she first discovers the Avery um, and it's really fun kind of getting to know Mrs Finch a bit more because she is a mysterious woman like we love her she is mysterious you know I was thinking after I read this is that if Laura ever wants to write another book in this universe is that she should do a prequel about Mrs Finch and how she came to set up the Avery. I think that would be quite cool. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea as well because I think that would be really interesting and really fun. And I also love because Oliver is such a grumpy git like I said. Like all the Finches and loads of people are like his staff just take the mick out of him and I find that so funny obviously in a fond way but because of his bad <laughs> His uh, grumpiness, they just take the mick out of him, which is so funny. I wish I had like an extra tab that I could have used to like tab all those moments because it was so funny. And look at all the tabs, by the way. This is like, I haven't tabbed a book this much in a while. Can we talk about it? I actually ran out of my tabs halfway through, so I had to change the colours and I still didn't quite have enough colours. But honestly, absolutely obsessed. And as you should have seen, I put my little library stamp that I got for Christmas as well. So this was obviously a five star read, like it brought me so much joy, it's only the second book that I've read this year and I'm filming this in March and it's by the same author of the book, first book that I read this year and there's nothing wrong with either of those things um, but this has definitely been such a comfort especially kind of over like the past month or so has been a bit difficult and so it's nice to have like such a comfort read and like I said, really enjoyed this. I love everything about this book. Like, cannot fault. So yes, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I have had a lot of fun filming it. I, I think I am going to keep up making videos for the time being. Maybe just on my own terms at the moment. But maybe it'll become a more regular thing, you know? Who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and my social media is in the description along with my Goodreads if you'd like to follow me on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and I will see you again very soon. Bye!